channel right now I want to share you guys about the Australian award scholarship with the one of the awardee Rizky Oktay Koputris and talk about the details about the Australian award scholarship and how to become awardee as him and so on so on okay uh, hi my name is Rizky Oktay Koputris uh, now I'm an awardee of Australia award scholarships last year especially during winter 2019 so now I'm taking Master of Machine Learning and Computer Vision and this is my second semester right now. So at the time this is about more than 5,000 or 6,000. I don't know the exact number but it's about 500 or 600 that are accepted into the interview sessions. About 250 applicants that are accepted for these scholarships. There, so actually not all countries are eligible for these scholarships so it's only for a few countries in, in the world It's completely different with other people vlogging I want to you share about how to become a word So I have prepared a lot of requirements for something to come in that, is, that needs to be translated to English So I need to prepare all of that and also recommendation from professor uh, what what's your plan in the future after uh, you are finishing your studies by using the scholarships and so on and so on okay yep. so you have experience before you applying the scholarship uh, right yeah. okay what what positions or what kind of job that you oh. have before oh yeah in indonesia as programmer as, to be focused as, as the artificial intelligence engineers Okay. And it's something important that you want to share to fulfill the form or also tips and tricks how to become awardee like you or something? Okay, so what I did to apply this course is that to see all the requirements and one of the requirements is that it is matched with priority area of study. My In my country, the priority, the priority area of study, there's no IT. There's, there's, uh, there's no information technology or related to my field. But I tried to match my field to the list of the priority area of study. So that's why maybe it helps me to pass this. Actually, when, when applying for this scholarship, you need to, to choose what are the courses or university you, you want to take. Course details, uh, it mentioned about Chris Cross code. So as you can see here, we have a Chris Cross code. And you can check it in the the website in the website of Gricos, just search Google it and you will find it, Gricos Australia. And for example, you want to search for somewhere else, for example, in my state, it is ACT, something like here, and you can find that you can search anything you want, for example, like oh yeah, you can choose ACT and for example, Australian National University. Find this Chris Scott code in your university website for example in my website there's about master of machine learning you just open your website and you can see the Chris Scott code somewhere, somewhere here so here for example in my department in my program so we have Chris Scott here Scott here and you need to just copy it and this will automatically automatically fill by the system is based on your uh, uh, your choice, the program choice, like that. How to find your right program is the, is depend on your patience. It depend on everything. For example, when you have a lot of experience in a programmer, for example, so just follow your person in programmer, and just just get what you want. Actually, yes, yeah. Actually, you can do that have to make sure that uh, what's the reason behind that so for example like uh, we have a different background in the background but you work experience in somewhere else state your reasons uh, why you want to apply this course because I have uh, experience in this to upgrade the skills from based on my experience and based on my work experience so that's why uh, don't afraid to be failed to apply scholarship. Okay, thank you for sharing. Yeah. Bye. Bye.